for most of us, we didn't know what we were going to expect or what we were going to see. So it was more of a surprise when you arrived, you saw these small villages with mud tracks and like, bumpy roads and you thought, is this how people actually live? And it was a big shock. And it was strange seeing one or two people in a small house, heating, water, electricity, those kind of things that I never think about, um, that they are so vital that so many people don't have them. In a way I feel like we feel so close to them because they're in so many ways they're just like us and you know they're Jewish and they're living their everyday lives just trying to get by and but at the same time I feel quite distant. These people would have to worry about whether that night they have the food they need for their family, if they're going to be warm in the night. At the home of the elderly woman Natasha that we met who's um, a technical engineer but unable to work because uh, since she had her daughter 43 years ago who's handicapped she hasn't been able to work and so she's home and really completely dependent on WJR and the Chesed for everything. Um, her pension is doesn't even cover the utility bill let alone anything else in her life. Мы в Хасаде давно, мы больше 10 лет в Хасаде, да. поэтому мы и держимся на плаву немножко. Она, вы знаете, и тепло, и не шумно, и не сквозит, совсем другое. Нас теплее стало намного. Ну вы поверьте, это вообще, в каждой, как я уже говорю, в каждой квартире это не раз все новое. And she was talking about how grateful she is for the help that she receives. But she sort of made this gesture and you could tell it was about gratitude. And she finished speaking and the translator said, um, I just can't tell you what it means to know that there's someone out there, someone so far away, who's thinking of us. Спасибо, что вы заботитесь о нас. Нам это очень приятно и очень нужно. We've got a real connection with the people and their experience in that room and that we're very fortunate that we can help. People were so grateful for getting very basic things that we all absolutely take for granted and what you really want is for them to be able to take it for granted too. Like what you really want is that we can make such a difference that nobody would be in this position. It was just very humbling. When we saw this little girl, she had nothing. We gave her some pens and a pencil and she was just overjoyed. And they are immensely grateful for everything we can do. <laughs> Seeing all the different children and they have dreams of what they want to do when they grow up and they want a good job and they want to be able to live their lives the way they should and it's amazing because by helping them WJR does give them these opportunities so that they can have this education and hopefully grow up and do something that they want to do and so that their dreams will come true. <laughs> Have hope for your granddaughter. WJR really makes a big difference on their lives. It doesn't make a difference on just their house, it makes a difference on their feelings and how they feel about themselves. And you feel, if I don't help them, what will happen to that family I met? But it's still very hard to imagine that there's real hope, and that's why there's so much more we have to do. Although the problem is vast, we can really make a difference, family by family, project by project, to give these people hope and enrich their lives.